Hello everyone, it's Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today we're going to be doing a review on the new Intel SSD. Now as we all know, Intel SSDs are somewhat of something special. Um, when some of the previous ones have come out in the past, uh, they have been um, the sort of yardstick in a way of people and other manufacturers trying to compete with them. Obviously what happened recently, OCZ with their Vertex 3, that really became the new yardstick because Intel were focusing more on the processor side of things. But today you see something completely change and that is with the Intel 520 series SSDs that have come out. So um, basically it's a new drive on the market uh, powered by Sandforce and hopefully it's going to show us some really great results that are going to compete with some of the big brands out there at the moment like the Patriot Wildfire, the OCZ Vertex 3 and the Max IOPS. So this is the drive itself and what we're going to do, um, not really going to beat around the bush or anything, we're going to get you straight in, have a look at it, do a little bit of an unboxing, and take a look at the product itself and then go straight into the benchmarks. So uh, I'm going to take the uh, camcorder straight off the tripod and uh, get straight into it, so uh, stay tuned. So guys, we've now got you off the tripod and we're looking at the Intel um, Solid State Drive 520 series for desktop and mobile systems. It's a 240 gig capacity, but obviously there are um, various different sizes as well. Um, so if you can't quite plump out the cash for the 240 gig, you can always get a smaller one. Um, so yeah, it also includes a desktop installation kit. It's a very, very simple packaging. There's not a great, a great deal to sort of say about it. But um, as with all SSDs, they do sort of brand them as hard drive replacement so if you have got a notebook or a desktop machine that's got a hard drive in it this is really sort of the next stage forward uh, other than that looking at the box we've got some serial numbers and things like that uh, which also acts as a sticker when you actually open the box although you can open it from the other side which is a bit weird um, and not affect obviously any any stickers that you can open and, and so forth um, so looking at it, it gives us a quick view of what the drive will actually look like and what comes included in the box and then over on the right hand side it just really says this box contains an Intel uh, solid state drive for use in a desktop or mobile PC and it's covered by a five year limited warranty and the full text of which is enclosed. So straight away that's a, a fantastic selling point in my opinion, a five year warranty. Um, a lot of uh, manufacturers out there are doing various different time frames for their warranty but five years in my opinion is really really good and uh, Intel have got you know headquarters all over the world in all different countries. In the UK, they're based in Swindon. Uh, obviously, they've got offices in the US and uh, you know other parts of Europe and so forth. So you shouldn't have any problem with RMAs and replacements. So like I say, you can open it from this side, and once again, we see that uh, five-year warranty sort of information on the side as well. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it and try and open this up one-handed, which is always always good fun. So, there we go. Uh, we've already opened it. Uh, I will tell you that because we were really, really keen to sort of get straight in and involved with this uh, with this SSD because of obviously the uh, past performance that we've seen with other Intel SSDs. So we couldn't really wait um, for the video or anything like that. We just wanted to get straight in and testing it. So uh, it comes in this cardboard box just to protect everything. You can see that um, it also the drive itself comes in an anti-static bag, which we have ripped open. Uh, and obviously that adds for a little bit of protection as well. We'll have a look at that in a little bit more detail in a little bit. And also comes in this sort of cardboard packaging for extra protection. Much like we see with OCZ and other brands on the market, they do bundle in a little sticker. So Speed Demon Intel Solid State Drive. And we also get the um, information leaflet which has some important web links on there and so forth. And that's in many, many different languages. And we also get the installation guide and warranty information on this CD. And then opening things up a little bit further, because it does come with the desktop um, sort of installation kit, you get the various different mounting screws, SATA drive cable, Molex connector, and quite a beefy large uh, bracket as well. So uh, stay tuned when we're actually going to have a little bit of a, a further look at the drive itself, and then we'll get straight into the benchmarks. So guys, moving over to the actual SSD itself, um, we can see that it's got quite a unique design uh, compared to other drives on the market. So it's got like this black raised uh, bit around the edge, and uh, we can see if we zoom in, uh, the Intel SSD 520 series. This is a 240 gig capacity, and uh, this does run at SATA six speeds as well. So like we have previous Intel uh, SSDs, it has got like a metal casing on it, which goes all the way around, and we can also see connector-wise. Uh, very very simple it's just got the SATA 
data connector and the SATA uh, power connector. So uh, nothing too extravagant there as well. Uh, in terms of opening this up and having a look inside, we have got all that information in our written review, which we will uh, link in the description below so you can check all that out if you want to see what makes this drive tick, so to speak. Uh, and that's pretty much it for sort of you know a first look uh, at this drive and you know the the unboxing which we did with all of this stuff over here. And uh, hopefully that's given you sort of you know a bit of an insight into the drive, uh, what it looks like, and uh, what you get included in the packaging. And if you stay tuned uh, in the next couple of seconds, we will show you the benchmarks and we'll be looking at ASSSD on this drive, Atto, uh, Crystal Disk Mark as well as PC Mark Vantage and PC Mark 7 so it's something not to be missed so stay tuned and we'll get you all the benchmarks for this drive and if you want to see more check out the written review in the description below so guys as you can see over here we've got our very elaborate test rig um, I'll firstly explain why we've got all the fans on there um, we've been doing some sort of overclocking so we can uh, do some extreme folding at home and we've also been trying to do some well not trying we have done some world record HW bots um, results as well so that's why there's sort of tons of fans on there but uh, moving back over to the SSD that we've just been looking at so we've got the Intel 520 series 240 gig now plugged in um, that's plugged into the Maximus 4 Extreme Z which as you can see is running the XFX 7950 it's got 2700k in there and it's also got um, 16 gig of Corsair Vengeance 1866 as well so quite a nice little rig we are currently using a uh, V plus 100, 128 gig SSD now from Kingston um, SSD and then we're using this as a secondary drive so we can run the uh, performance benchmarks on it because if we were to install Windows onto here then obviously we would lose some performance because it would be using that drive whilst we're testing. So going over to the screen that we've got over here um, we can see that we've been running AS SSD and we've just been taking some print screens so the main thing that we're really looking at here is the sequential so we can see that we've got 504 0.77 megabytes per second on the read speed and 290.80 megabytes a second on the write speed so some really good results there you can also see the 4k and uh, some of the other results there as well moving over to the next one we can see that we've got Atto now Atto will, is pretty much what every manufacturer uses to sort of give their rated speeds so if we go down to sort of the 1024 which is what we normally use we can see that we get 526 megabytes on the write and 556 megabytes on the read speed so uh, some really really good results there as well across the board moving on to the next one it's crystal disk mark very much similar to ASSSD we're getting 503.3 megasecond on the read and 308.4 on the right and we can also see the 512k the 4k and the 4k QD32 and uh, then we've got PC mark 7 so in here it gives you a a sort of guideline really of how things perform under certain applications and more than anything PC Mark 7 is used for sort of comparison purposes so you, you can run PC Mark 7 on your own on your own SSD and see how it compares against this. Other than that the next one that we got is PC Mark Vantage. Now in here it gives us a hard drive score that's the only test that we run because we didn't want to sort of sit there for an hour and a half watching the other things that we didn't really care about because all we're doing is testing an SSD once again for comparison purposes you can see that we got 76,992 and then in the results we can see exactly how it did in Windows Defender, in gaming, um, importing pictures to Windows Photo Gallery and so forth. So they're the benchmarks for uh, the Intel 520 series 240GB SSD.